You know what I think about time management? I think 20% of your actions control 80% of your results, mm -hmm. right? And so your time management, you're getting clouded up by the 80% of your actions that aren't producing anything. See what I'm saying? Yeah. And you gotta figure out what that 20% of the most important things you're doing that's producing 80% of your results and then focus more on those activities. See that, if you carved out the times where you're going to websites that you don't, you don't have to check your email every five minutes. You should check it like once an hour every two hours. Let the emails pile up. And that's the 80% of stuff that doesn't matter that you're doing. Then you gotta cut that out and then and then shave it down to that 20% of stuff that really, really matters, that makes you money, that puts you in front of people, that gives you an opportunity to help people. All right, so we're here in my hotel. I'm in St. Petersburg, Florida. Feeling incredibly grateful. I'm down here for a big meeting tomorrow and I put it out there that I was down here in St. Petersburg. I told everybody to, if they wanna meet me, come on down to my hotel lobby. I'll be there at 6 p.m. So we'll see who shows up you never know you know um, is a lot of people gonna show up is a few people gonna show up we don't know how many people is gonna show up to this thing so it's not a big deal either way I just wanted to reach out and give people an opportunity to meet me if they want to because here's the facts I've helped a lot of people with my mindset and my books and my videos and my podcast and my YouTube the zero to diamond the Facebook group all the stuff I'm getting emails and text messages and DMs from all of you tell me how much it's working for you and it's turning your business and your life around and like I said I'm just incredibly grateful so let's go find out how many people want to come meet me tonight How are you? Ricky, Rick, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice Hi how are you doing? Great. Good. Good to meet you, finally. What's up? What's up, man? How you doing? How you? What's your name? Chris. Good to meet you. Pleasure, man. Sure, What's up, Jim? Good to nice see you. Good to see you. What's up, man? How are you? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Your name? Jim Miller. Jim Miller. And Lori Miller. Okay, yeah. How are you doing? Hi. Cool, cool. This is my wife, Carlin. Hi. Hi. Thanks for coming up. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to... Just sit down and chill and hear what you guys got to say for a second. How long you been selling? Uh, uh, I don't know, about 35 years. It's not real estate though. Uh, I got my license just about a year and a half ago. And you've been doing it for how long? 60 days. You had your real estate license for 60 days? Yep. And you're the one with the podcast? Yep. Okay. And how long you been doing the podcast? A couple years. Just About training. investing? No, um, it's Just basic sales. sales. Basic sales training. Sales training for entrepreneurs. What's up, man? How you doing? Nate. You are? Nate Shirk. Nate, nice to, nice meet, to meet you, you man. Nice you. It took me eight long months <laughs> to do my first sale. The second one is actually the hardest. Yeah, I, I'm seeing that. How long you been selling? I've been, I've had my license two years. Yeah, good to meet you too. What can I help you with? I don't know. What's yet. your biggest struggle? Still want it? Yeah, consistency is the key. Yeah. You know, because I mean, like my thing was when I when I first started, if I could just get two people to have a good conversation with me a day, then I felt like I was killing it because I knew that was gonna turn into a thousand people in two years. People go out and, and, and do the shotgun approach and make a thousand calls in a day and get 30 leads and then they don't call for a month, you know? But if you'll just do like a hundred a day, you know, on that dialer for like an hour, you know, and do it every single day, you know? Then you can literally be one of the number, you know, one of the top agents. You know, cool. you're scared of. Like what? Yeah. You, you're just scared of the unknown. You know what I'm saying? You yeah, hadn't like done it, so. You just, it's like, how do you build social media? You just have to do it. You know what I'm saying? But 
try it. You know what I mean? Is it really worth the money? Yeah. It, 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 it blows through the numbers, you know? Like it used to take me eight hours to dial 100 phone numbers. Now I do it an hour and a half. It's like the best, it's the best technology for agents. I mean, finding the numbers is the best, you know, because that used to take me forever and not nowhere near the data that you can find today. And then to add on top of that, I don't have to dial them either. I mean, I'm like the 80 year old grandpa that walked eight miles in the snow to get to school. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I take it for granted. Yeah, dude, you do. You do take it for granted, man. And um, Hey, what's up? Karen. Nice to Karen meet you. Speaks. Pleasure, nice to meet pleasure. You. So what can I help you with? Oh, gee, <laughs> that's a little. What's your biggest, what's your biggest struggle? Uh, time management. What do you do all day? I could never work out of my house. I'm finding out that I'm having a hard time. I tried it and it doesn't work for me because like going to the office is like when I was in school, going to the library where I can focus and every, everything is focused on one objective, mm -hmm. you know? And so every all my energy goes into that because I'm there at the, at the special place, you know, where I'm supposed to be doing that. There's a lot of successful agents that work out of their house. So it's not like it doesn't work for every, it's like everybody does it differently. Mm -hmm. Right, but but if that's a problem, then you got to do something about that. I do. You know what I think about time management? I think 20% of your actions control 80% of your results. Mm -hmm. Right, and so your time management, you're getting clouded up by the 80% of your actions that aren't producing anything. See what I'm saying? Yeah. And you gotta figure out what that 20% of the most important things you're doing that's producing 80% of your results and then focus more on those activities. See that, if you carved out the times where you're going to websites that you don't, you don't have to check your email every five minutes. You should check it like once an hour every two hours. Let the emails pile up. And that's the 80% of stuff that doesn't matter that you're doing. Then you gotta cut that out and then and then shave it down to that 20% of stuff that really, really matters, that makes you money, that puts you in front of people, that gives you an opportunity to help people. And then you have a problem generating leads. Well. There's human beings everywhere. I know, I know. It's just getting out there and talking to everybody. You're scared to talk to them? No, I'm not scared to talk to them. Not then what's the problem? I don't wanna push out my real estate agent to people. But you, but you, but you know my scripts. Yes. It's like so, it's like such a non... And that's why I follow you, is because I don't... I was a Keller Williams agent for the longest time and it was... Hey, what's up? Oh, How are you? Atkins. Nice to meet you. Been listening to you for at least three Pleasure, months. pleasure. Hi. Hey, nice, nice to meet you. Pleasure, here. pleasure. Thank you for having We're doing like a round table talk deal. You guys just bring chairs over. Um, How many calls have you ever made? In one day? Well, you got no, in your life. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying like cold calls for real estate. Cold call. Yeah, cold, cold calls for real estate. Well, I just started doing this two weeks ago. Okay. So, so how many total in your life cold calls for real estate have you made? 100, 200? Yeah, oh, more than that. 100,000? No, not like that. <laughs> okay. Like get to 5,000 and then come back and tell me that you're having trouble yeah. because you get through that first couple thousand You're gonna be so you're gonna be driving so well You're gonna be y'all laughing and cutting up and getting emails and making friends and selling properties Everybody has to go through that little weird stage of not feeling good about making the calls and feeling weird about this or that and if you're not willing to go through that, you're not gonna get to the other side where all the all the good times are. Right. That's what people think whenever they see a new real estate agent or a real estate agent that they, like they see a card or a postcard of a brand new one they've never seen. They think, oh, this is nice. We'll keep our eye on this person to see if they keep it up. That's what they're thinking when they see a postcard or an email or a phone call or something of a real estate agent they never they never heard of. They think, that's awesome. I'm gonna keep my eye on this person and see what happens. You know what I'm saying? And that just goes back to consistency. You know, like if you don't keep doing it, so you think it didn't work because they didn't call you. You know what I'm saying? Or or they there was no interaction, no engagement, but you don't you don't realize that 
they did notice it and now they're they've got an eye on you and if you keep it up long enough they're eventually going to realize you're in the game and and you're you're here to help and you're going to do the thing of of the post like you got how many people liked it but then look at the impression like the impressions is what like matters you know what i'm saying like um that like if you have 500 likes but but 2500 impressions 2500 people saw that if it's an open house you know you're doing an open house you put it on instagram and you got 50 likes but another but 400 impressions 400 people know saw that and saw the open house thing see what i'm saying it's like it's so much more powerful than than the open rate or the engagement and all that stuff it's like the impressions people devalue that you know that's cool What's up, man? What's up? How you doing? Titus, yeah, what's happening, man? Still breathing. Still Old Titus here comments on all my YouTube videos. <laughs> Hi, Michael. Good to see you, big guy. Yeah, man. Yep. So my time management sucks right now because all I'm doing all day is, what's the Rick doing today all day long? Where's Ricky? <laughs> I only post like one thing a day. <laughs> Eat, drink, and sleep, Ricky. Um, what's up? What's up, man? How are you? Tom. Ricky, nice to meet nice you, to man. Meet Pleasure. You. Have a seat, dude. Grab a chair. And there's one inside, maybe. Do a little round table talk. What's your biggest struggle? What's you guys' biggest struggle? See, the thing is, you can do whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? Because when you make that call, they forgot who you were five minutes later. Okay. You can call that same person in two weeks, and they will. It will be. A, it will be like a cold call to them. They don't know who you are or what you're doing. They won't remember that you called. So you can actually make a fool of yourself with the same people you're, you're practicing for. Great. Why do you feel like you're going to make a fool out of yourself? Okay. But see, man, the thing is, is like your truth, like. That they will relate to you regardless of you being not being from here. Like your story of, of being wherever you were selling modular homes and then coming here, that is your thing. Like that is what you can talk about, literally. You don't have to pretend like you're an expert. You know what I mean? Because that's not what's gonna win them over. What's gonna win them over is, is, is your intent that you really care about helping them. And that all comes down to tone and speed of your voice and how you really feel about them. You know what I'm saying? Like, are you talking to them like you're a friend or family? Like it's your mom, your dad, your brother, your cousin. See what I'm yes, saying? I where, where I came from and what I did, I did. I mean, I would, I would joke. No, 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 no. I'm saying right here, right now. I haven't, I haven't connected with that many. On that. But that's what I'm telling you you got to do. You got, you got to relax. You know, a lot of times it's just like, hey, how are you doing this, 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 and this? Hey. Hey. <laughs> How you doing? Good, how are you? What's your name? Amber. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. So, yeah, like, but, it, but like, then you get those conversations that go really well, and it's like, it's like, this is like a family member. That's when you can get caught up in these conversations about where your, where your life has been and how you got to where you're at, you're at, you know what I mean? And then they relate to that. Use it. Don't think of it as a, da as a, as a negative. You know, you got a great story. Titus. I want to hear about the Titus. Hey, I, um, so yeah, I just got licensed. But my biggest issue is um, I got a full-time job, you know. You got, you got half a day Sunday yeah. and all day Saturday, right? And you need some time to recharge because you're working, you're sleeping three hours a night, right? That's you fine. feel the same way I felt when I before I made phone calls. <laughs> In the same way she feels right now. Sensitive. <laughs> like, who, who, who feels, who felt awesome? I feel comfortable knocking on the door. Like, who felt awesome to make their first call? Nobody. Nobody. It's totally natural. Right. Something else I should be doing. <laughs> no. Like, you love for sale by owners. Yes, I do. You love to door knock them. Yeah. You love to keep up with them and wait till they do something. So what's your biggest struggle? Like, what can I help you with? The phone calls. Why do you want to do them? Because you're door knocking and you're loving it. Everything you said. But but you're door knocking it. But you but you find what works for you. I got it. But then what did you realize? What do you mean? 
from losing the deal, what did you realize? This is a Ricky quiz. Oh, I got my back. Right. I gave my time back. It's like the best thing that could ever happen to you. That's me. Huh? It is a number. Everybody hear that? <laughs> Whose phone is that? Mine. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do it. Do what? Well, you know what? You know why I circle prospect? Because nobody's calling them. There's no competition. Nobody's calling them. In front of them. The for sale owner. They're so open. Right. They want to know what's going on on the market. They're like, oh my God, a real estate agent's calling me. Sometimes you know what I'm saying? Happy you call. Yeah. And then you ask, you say, I'm enjoying the days and it gorgeous, and they just want to tell you all about the weather. You're just a straight beast, is what you're telling me. Yeah, I will be when um, I'm going to be. No, you are now. After 5,000 calls. No, you are now. So I like, like, like you're systematically, mm -hmm. strategically, like I'm going to do this, this. I'm going to do this thousand people. I've practiced my script on my past clients. Like you're, <laughs> you're putting the piece like. You're already a beast. It's just, it's amazing because my wife tells me all day long that quit wasting my money buying Zoli. You have to make calls. If you make calls, you'll be successful. And I'm telling you, it's the truth. Everything this man's been saying is 100% the truth. In that neighborhood that you that you sold right. that sold them to, you know they're talking. Oh, he's the man. Or. You know, you listed their house. Now your sign's up in the in the neighborhood. Oh, but so many agents like like came in and wanted to ask me stuff and meet me and say thank you for that. It inspired me and all this stuff. And that's when I had my aha moment that I needed to finish the book and really push this stuff out there because it's really I thought it was really going to help people and it has. So. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time and everything you do for us. Absolutely. All right, y'all want to go eat something? Yes. Let's do it. Whew. They're talking my language. I'm a mustard fan, actually. <laughs> yeah. One pound of stone crab claw served cold with our house made mustard sauce. That's just. Playing with my heartstrings over here. Mayonnaise. mayonnaise. Yeah, see, I can't stand mayonnaise. Get that out of here. What you make mayonnaise out of? What you make it out of? How many agents do y'all have? What it has done is make me. And that's random, huh? Like, does it have like a pattern of naps? Tuesdays and Thursdays. So the help Tuesdays and Thursdays. There you go. There's the call sessions twice a week. Yeah. And then, and then you know, like schedule everything around that. Hey guys. Thank you all so much for coming out and meeting me tonight. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Look at Blake. Yeah, he's just a beast. Yeah, he's just a beast.